Um, what we're going to do this morning is we have our opening plenary agenda. Uh, we'll begin uh, here with my overview of, of EC3 and where we are. Uh, then we have uh, two paper presentations in the main plenary. Um, we first uh, by Fabian Kaufman and the second one by Brandon Byers. Um, and then we will also have uh, some short elevator pitches about the EC3 technical committees. If you don't know what the technical committees are, that's okay. That's what the elevator pitches are for. And I'll say a little bit more in a moment. Um, and then finally, we'll have our first coffee break, and then the, the breakout sessions will begin. Um, so EC3 has eight different tracks. And if you, uh, if you look in your program, you'll also see this represented um, between data sensing and acquisition, data analysis, uh, simulation and resilience, data integration methods, education policy standardization, product and process modeling, blockchain and distributed ledger technology, virtual and augmented reality, and energy modeling and monitoring. And um, we thank all of you for your submissions into these tracks and that we can find a way uh, now to present this great work back to the community. How does EC3 work? What are some of our key technical features as a, as a conference? Um, the first thing I'd point out is that one thing that we really strive for is through a comprehensive review and ranking system of our papers. Um, the focus of, the, of this is uh, uh, highlighting quality and, uh, and also to make sure we get high quality reviews um, and feedback to the authors. Um, I'll say more about that in a moment. We also have both paper and video proceedings, so I have a nice camera here in front of me and uh, uh, Ranjith is over there as our dissemination chair, uh, Dr. Ranjith Soman, and he's, um, he's recording me right now, so we also have video proceedings, I'll say more in a moment. Um, it's a paperless event, everything here is in digital form only, um, or as much as possible. Um, and uh, we also uh, recently, um, last week, held a very successful uh, EC3 summer school. Um, for paper ranking, uh, the top ranked papers lead the sessions. So um, the, the two highest, the papers that were selected as the, the two top papers, we had a best paper award and an, another highly ranked paper. Um, they were invited to be the keynote session uh, speakers. Um, in addition, all the high ranking papers, uh, the highest ranking papers are invited to be the, the lead papers in a session. So when we have the breakout sessions, the first paper presented is often the one that has received the, the highest review from the, from the um, judges. Um, and in the proceedings, we have a little star in the title which designates one of the top ten papers uh, in the conference. So congratulations also to those authors for um, these distinguished papers. Finally, um, uh, we have another um, denotation in the proceedings. It's uh, the ampersand. If you see this, this is going to designate an online presentation today. So EC3 is not a hybrid conference. We are not uh, live streaming right now to a community online. We are in-person events. But we recognize with the COVID challenges that some people were just not able to make it here. Some people that had uh, wanted to be here but for different reasons couldn't attend. And uh, so in that case, um, we do have uh, several proceedings which are going to be they are pre-recorded and they're going to be played and we are connecting with those speakers for a live Q&A. So if you see this uh, uh, sign, that means that that's going to be a, a recorded presentation. Um, and in those cases, they're always at the end of the session so that, you, so that we don't kind of break the flow of the breakout sessions. Um, but I do hope you also attend those events, uh, even though they're online uh, or pre-recorded, because I think uh, they also represent many of our interesting papers in our community. <coughs> Good. A little bit about the, uh, about the proceedings. So uh, you've probably seen on the website that your paper is now um, as part of our conference proceedings. Um, many thanks to Lavinia for the hard work in getting this ready. And uh, you can find the, the, um, the PDF and the abstract of the paper online. Also, all the individual uh, meta metadata is there hosted on the EC3 website. You have an individual DOI for your paper. And when the video proceedings are done, they will also be added to the conference website. So everything will be there in one place on the EC3 website. Um, we also publish the proceedings as part of our series in uh, computing and construction. Um, this will be our third uh, set of conference proceedings. Um, and I'm happy to say that we, are, um, we have uh, finalized our application for the Scopus, uh, app, uh, for a Scopus application, and now we're under evaluation, or we're about to become under evaluation by Scopus. Um, so we are hopeful as a community that the, the first three conference proceedings will be indexed by Scopus um, shortly. Uh, we know that's important for many of you and many of your universities as well. 
<clears throat> Next, we have the proceedings, um, which are on YouTube. So uh, this includes both the screen capture and the camera. So you can wave to the camera. Um, and also, we will capture anything on the screen. You don't have to worry about it as you're presenting. Anything that you show on that screen, we capture on our side. So you don't have to stress about, am I doing something right? Just present as normally. We will handle everything on the back end. Um, we are not recording the Q&A. So this is not something that comes through very well. Uh, in a recording session, so after your presentation is done, we, we will cut that off and then we'll begin the, the Q&A. Um, and then you can find uh, previous conferences on our YouTube channel um, from 2019 and 2021. Um, we will hope to up upload those as soon as possible. And when you signed up, you gave us permission to publish these proceedings in, on YouTube, but we also recognize in that time something may have changed. You may not want to publish your, your video, um, and in that case, um, you can rescind permission. So either you know, scan the QR code here uh, or go to this link uh, bit.ly ec3 rescind or send me an email and we'll give you the form and you can rescind the, the permission. Just be aware that if you do do that and we don't record you, that's no kind of changing of the mind. We can't uh, re-record um, if we don't record it. But uh, in the case that that's uh, something you would like, please, uh, there's the rescind permission. Um, we're also on social media, so you can find us on Twitter at EuropeanC3, and please use the hashtag on uh, LinkedIn and on Twitter of uh, hashtag EC3Conf, and uh, then we can also show the rest of the community that's not able to be here all the great presentations that are happening today, or how nice the weather is in Rodos and you're going to the beach and having a good time as well, as you, as you like. <clears throat> EC3 is also a paperless event, so we do not have a printed program. You maybe notice you're trying to figure out uh, when is your presentation? So please uh, download the conference app. It's called Conf for Me. Um, you can either get it on Android or the Apple Store. And uh, um, yeah, I'll give everyone a moment that's using their QR codes if they want to scan it now. Um, we also have a, a sign at the, at the registration where you can also find the, the conference app as well. Um, the, the app has the program, so it has all the different sessions. You can customize it, create your own agenda. Um, and kind of follow along in that way. So um, please take advantage. In addition, if you don't want to use the conference app, we also have the live program is on our website. So if you go to the EC3 website and you see where the program is live, you can also see it on your, on your computer as well. Um, and you can check for changes as well. We don't anticipate any changes in the schedule, but just in case, we will uh, we'll update it there and uh, also send out an email to all the participants today. All right, just a few more things, and then we can get on with the, the interesting stuff, the proceedings. Uh, we also have today, uh, tomorrow, a thesis in three competition. So I encourage you to come to the thesis in three. We have 10 PhD students or early stage researchers who have signed up to deliver their thesis topic in three minutes. And we have a panel of judges and a first and second pra place prize. So um, uh, thanks to many of you in the room who are gonna present. It's not easy to present your plan for your PhD thesis in three minutes, but uh, we love to see uh, the effort that goes into um, to trying to really summarize it down in three minutes. So um, that will be, uh, I believe it's in this room uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, and also tomorrow we will have our conference gala dinner, so that you know. Um, the gala dinner is at the Artemida Tavern in, uh, I don't know how to say it, but Pistinos, <laughs> if I can get it right. Um, and uh, uh, this is going to be an authentic local uh, uh, experience, I've been, I've been told. So we will have both uh, local food and local entertainment. Should be a really nice night uh, and really enjoyable. Um, for, those of us, for those of you that were there in 2019, the, the gala dinner was a lot of fun. Um, the buses will depart uh, from the hotel entrance at, uh, at 17. Do I have that right? Is that 19? That should be 19, I think. Yeah, that's, I, I'm almost certain that that's 19, so sorry about that. Let me <laughs> correct that and I'll, I'll confirm for everyone. It's 19, yeah. I, it's just a mistake. Uh, yeah, uh, so at 19, we'll be depart from the, the hotel lobby. And uh, um, yeah, don't, don't have to dress formal. You can wear light clothes. It's, it'll probably be still warm. And it uh, should be a great time. So we'll see you. We'll see you all there. In addition, we do have uh, the possibility for excursions, um, especially for those of you that have accompanying people that maybe tomorrow want to go on a nice excursion. Um, we have different options like the, the Valley of the Butterflies uh, or other um, other events. 
Um, and you can go ahead and talk to Mitos, who is uh, coordinating everything with the events in the, at the registration, and they can set you up with a customized excursion as you like. Um, you can also book it, for example, on Wednesday if you're staying longer and you'd like them to organize something for you. They have a, they have a good knowledge of everything that's going on. So please reach out to them, um, discuss with them about the excursions, or let your accompanying people know um, that they can talk to them if they want to tomorrow want to go on a, for example, on a half day trip of, of some kind. And they have a lot of recommendations for you. Um, and finally, I would like to say uh, uh, thank you to our sponsor. So Costain is, uh, is our, our sponsor. Um, and in particular, we're focused on, on supporting our EC3 summer school last week. So here uh, is Tim with Costain um, and listening to a pitch about uh, three students about the future of construction uh, and during the summer school last week. Um, and we're, we're thankful for their support that also um, uh, supports our conference as well. Good, uh, with that, uh, that's the beginning of the kind of essential information that you need to know. And now my job is to get out of the way so we can hear some really great presentations. Um, and I would like Lavinia to, to um, come forward and can maybe just say a little bit about the best papers um, and, uh, and introduce our, our best paper presentation. So. Thank you, Daniel, and thank you, all of you, to be here. Uh, we received the 79th submission with your research and uh, interesting papers. We had a lot of uh, high-ranked paper, and our reviews uh, were engaged into trying to evaluate all your paper. It was a hard work and with a lot of uh, feedbacks uh, to the authors, so it was a really a good job. Thank you all for submitting, and thank you to the reviewer. And now it is a pleasure to introduce the best paper presentation that is uh, given by Fabian Kaufmann. Where is it? And uh, it's about the scale beam, introducing a scalable modular framework to transfer point clouds into semantically rich building information models. And the paper uh, was uh, chosen for a uh, as a best paper between all our accepted paper. And uh, so, Fabian, where are you? <laughs> and the stage is yours. Thank you. 